Check for advanced restart button. Yes, it's available. Boot into recovery and direct. If you don't have that, use the traditional volume up button and power button to boot into recovery. Here we go. It's booting into TWRP latest recovery. As you can see 3.6.0 11 to Surya. This is the latest TWRP available for Pocus. Go to wipe and select advanced wipe and select dialog catch and data and swipe here to wipe it. Go to home section and second install and select storage wherever you downloaded the files and select the firmware first and select 12.5.5.0 latest available global firmware for POCO X flash that later again go to home section select install and select the rom zip file here in this video i am showing pixel extended surya 4.2 you can see here with android version 12 and february security patch and build date is 11th march it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed after flashing the rom go to home section again and select wipe and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button done formatting done go to home section and again select the reboot and select the system it's booted into pixel extended it takes a little bit of time to first boot wait until it get booted and in this video i am going to explain about boot camp i mean sano boot camp gameplay and tdm and total the bugs features whether the google photos unlimited storage available or ifs unlock is available or not everything will be explained in deep Stay tuned till the end of the video and it's put it into Excel extended. Let's begin this video. Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. Guys, it's Sampati watching Sampat FX Poco XC custom ROM reviews, and this is a Pixel Extender version 4.2 with Android based 12 and security patch is 5th February 2022 and the kernel user is 4.14.246 with March 11th build and the build number you can see here March 11, 2022 and I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 5 minutes you can see here the maximum is 161 average is 150 minimum is 85 and CPU is throttled to 85% of its max performance coming to anti to benchmark results in this ROM fine not great 2,78,000 it's low actually and 0.2 degree celsius is the uh, temperature raise and the battery is just one degree drop oh sorry one percent has been dropped from its battery life so that's fine and camera application you get this kind of camera application don't use that use the gcam i mean arno build gcam even wide angle and even the wide video mode 4k 30 fps everything is supported in this ROM. it's supported in this camera application use this or if you want you can use any other gcam ports available for poco xc but there is no anx camera built available as of now for poco xc in android 12 roms that's when it gets going to fixed i don't know and coming to geekbench scores in this rom you get very less as you can see the single score is 379 and multi score is 1173 and kernel used there is linux 4.14.246 kernel has been used and if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys it's in red color make it black and many people watching my videos but not subscribing to the channel it's failed so you need to manually pause the safety net this is an unofficial build pixel extended previously it was 4.0 and now 4.2 updated and google pay if you want to use you can use but make it pass the safety net status then it will work flawlessly just a file request to flash in the magic or you can directly flash it in the recovery then you can use the payment applications and whatsapp is also going to work coming to drm info at least this one yeah that is level one certification you can watch all the ott applications in hd resolution that's not a problem coming to speed test in this room i have 100 mbps geo giga fiber connection here it's pulling up to 90 to 95 and even with mobile data also it's working fine 4g plus is also working fine no problem and there is no problem in earpiece that's also i know notice and it's fine coming into settings you get here apps default apps you can choose from here and there is a game settings i mean the game mode if you enable that you will get it and do not disappear game this simple and at all 
pixel experience type gaming mode available not there and here in the snow house you get plenty of customization you can see here status bar items you can enable or disable such that you will get in the quick settings panel and the print of options you can enable or disable tap to sleep is there and clock options battery style you can choose here as you can see you can change from here into some of the different types of battery style and battery percent battery estimates vibrate and touch keyways pull down brightness control and some of the options you can see here into the status bar there are plenty into lock screen you get double tap to lock on screen that's there show media art is there and media art blur level also you can adjust from here four small clock lock screen charging information and navigation bar gesture customization as you can see it's plenty are given but there is no option to increase the gesture bar length and even the radius that's how it is and vibrate and connect call waiting disconnect you can enable or disable from here into the hardware you can choose here advanced restart button is there if you press that it will work as you can see let me show you as you can see into restart there is an advanced restart button available for this ROM and fingerprint success and error vibration you can enable or disable this is the customization in status bar there are plenty but when it comes to lock screen it's also okay but other like customization of home screen like that that's not that much available that you need to keep in mind and notification settings you get all the bubbles conversation enhance and notification all options are given into the battery and battery life battery usage is hasn't recorded but i can say it's okay decent not great even not bad also that's how it is the battery life and extreme battery saver is given yeah you can choose that that's also present and you can schedule that and you can reduce the refresh rate to 60 when you apply that coming into display settings you get all the basic settings dark theme it's not pitch black condition as you can see it's a little bit gray type is available let's see into settings and see yeah little bit gray type is available i really don't like it if they add any presets for dark theme then it would be better that's how it is and fonts are display size and small suit you can adjust night light feature is also there you can adjust the intensity colors keep it boosted natural and our view looks like washed out and minimum refresh rate maximum refresh rate is also fine i kept for 120 both by default it's 120 that's how the battery life and icon shape icon pick and headline body font also you can change from your adaptive brightness working fine screen timeout is also given from 15 seconds to 30 minutes and lock screen you get these kind of options allow face unlock on lock screen privacy settings lift to check phone wake screen on notification show device control these are the options you get in the lock screen basic things but a little bit of customization is been has been added into this rom accessibility menu yes it's there you can use the accessibility menu from here as you can see it's an handy feature to have in android 12 without using the buttons you can toggle the volume and even without sliding the quick settings panel you can toggle the battery and all that's an handy feature you can have in any iosp roms security feature you get fingerprint unlock even the face unlock is also working well let me show you once again as you can see it's very very quick enough to unlock the smartphone the fingerprint scanner you can see here it's quick enough to unlock your smartphone very very quick that's how the settings you get let's see if app locker is given or not i don't think so yeah there is no app lock here advanced settings are given encryption credentials it's encrypted rom that's how it is and i hope i explained everything let's see the bgma gameplay in this particular rom and into graphics settings you get just normal smoothness ultra and hd and i there are no extreme unlocking has been done in this particular rom that's how it is if you want you can use the gpfx tool to unlock the higher fps count or even file config transfer method also you can do that's not a big problem let's see how is the performance in this particular rom i kept to boot i mean cyanog later i will be showing the tdm also Mm, volume is also loud enough not that much loud but that's how it is
as of now it's fine not lagging let's see when i reach ground let's see Where was the enemy? Okay, I got it. On this TDM, you can see the real time FPS count here. Let's see. Smooth plus ultra only. It's fine, no lag whatsoever, but some of the it was now laggy and uh, like they haven't included a safety net status pass by default and it's an unofficial build and battle life is also not that great if they improve that then people can try it out as a daily driver as of now there are plenty of options as of already Okay, I'll come back. That's how the BGMA gameplay and let me show you the charging animation and what all the things you get with charging. You will get that wobbling effect of Andertal and it shows charging rapidly only. That's how it is, the charging animation and battle life is also going to be fine enough, not great. Widgets are available, all the Andertal basic things are working fine into wallpapers and style let's see yeah there are pre-installed and all wallpapers that's fine working fine no problem regarding that that's all guys in this video thank you for watching this video we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smiling bye bye for now <laughs>